Hey guys, slightly different format for today's video. I wanted to bring you to an outdoor environment because I want to review the Zeiss Adaptive Sun lenses, which in my view are the best sunglass lenses, particularly best prescription sunglass lenses you can buy in 2020. The cool thing about Adaptive Sun lenses is they are way, way more than just a pair of sunglasses. I'm going to explain all about them in this video, talk to you about all the different versions of them that you can get, all the different colours, the different technologies you can integrate with them as well. And yeah, sit back and relax, I hope you enjoy this one. So whether it's a moderately bright day, like it is today, or even if you're in extreme UV conditions like the top of the Alps or sunning by the sea in the Caribbean, you've got a pair of sunglasses that will be perfect for that situation. These go significantly darker, they go up to about 97% tint which is way, way darker than most sunglasses on the market, which are roughly 80 to 85. That's because with regular tinted sunglasses, you can't go too dark because they would just be unusable in 90% of everyday conditions. But having that built into your sunglasses and knowing that you're prepared for a situation like that, I find is, is brilliant. I can go out with these sunglasses on and I don't have to worry about what the weather's gonna be like because I'll be able to wear them. Even if it's cloudy, I still got that improved contrast that you get from about a 60% tinted lens, which is what they fade back to. Now I mentioned that they come in different colour combinations and that's one of the great things about adaptive sun lenses. You've got loads of choice. Either have the tints in a solid colour or a gradient colour, which is what I've got here. I don't know if you can tell framed against the sky, they're a bit lighter at the bottom, a bit darker at the top. Now with the gradient version, when these are exposed to high UV levels, the whole lens tints to become darker. But when there isn't high UV, they fade back to the gradient effect, which is brilliant if I need to, for example, check my phone. I've got a really light tint to look through, looking downwards, but higher up, where the sun's coming from, I've got that increased protection. And we'll come back to my phone shortly because that's one of the other cool things that I like about these particular lenses. So we've got that to come. But in terms of colors, you've got brown, which is again what I'm wearing now, gray, green, and blue. So four different options. You can even have these lenses made polarized Polarised lenses uh, eliminate glare, so if you're into sports or if you're quite glare sensitive in general, um, then polarised lenses are ideal. The gradient effect is not available with the polarisation, but for me, the overall advantage of having the gradient outweighs the lack of polarisation. Having said that, I'm very lucky that I do also have polarised sunglasses for when the conditions require, particularly for driving when the sun's very low. That's where polarised sunglasses can be a little bit better. On the subject of driving, how do adaptive sun lenses perform behind the wheel? Well, I think one of the main things you don't want when you're driving are lenses which are too dark. Because if you go into a tunnel, um, or even if the conditions change and your visibility is not as good, you don't want to be looking through a lens that's too dark. Now there are pros and cons to adaptive sun lenses when it comes to driving. The pro is of course that they, they have this kind of moderately tinted color, which for me on most days is exactly the tint that I want. It's not too light, it's not too dark, and having the brown colour gives me good contrast for the road as well. I'd particularly recommend either the brown or the green if you're going to be driving in these a lot. But at the same time there is a negative to the adaptive sun technology which is that it responds to UV light, and UV is blocked by your windshield. So if you're driving these lenses aren't going to darken further than the base tint which is either 60% for the solid one or 75 radiating to 25 for the graduated tint like I have. So that's worth a consideration. If you do like really dark sunglasses when you drive, adaptive sun lenses are probably not for you. You might want to consider either dedicated sunglasses for driving or even drive wear lenses, which are the best lenses you can get specifically for driving. But as all round sunglasses, adaptive sun lenses perform really well and I find them adequate for 90% of the driving that I do. On top of that, you can even add a mirror effect to them and most of my clients who wear adaptive sun lenses actually do combine them with a mirror finish. That just means that they're even slightly better in extreme brightness and especially extreme heat because it's the infrared radiation from the sun that makes our eyes feel hot behind sunglasses, even with regular sunglasses. And having a mirror effect blocks out that infrared light, makes your eyes feel a lot more cooler, a lot more pleasant and a lot less tired. But even without the mirror finish, I find these to be excellent. I go running in this pair of sunglasses quite a lot. I've compared them to darker, even polarised sunglasses. For things like running, these are much better than anything because if I run under some trees, into the shade, I can still see clearly, and that's fantastic. Adaptive sun lenses are also compatible with thin lens materials as well. So if you've got a high prescription, you're okay. In fact, higher prescriptions where you can't manage 
when you take your glasses off, you can't see properly. Adaptive sun lenses are even better for somebody like yourself because if you need to go into a shop, for example, you can still see things properly without having to carry an extra pair of glasses around with you that you have to keep swapping between. So you can go out, like I said earlier, in one pair of sunglasses and you're prepared for pretty much any eventuality. I guess the only limitation would be if it gets really dark and you get into nighttime conditions, you're then going to want to switch to clear lenses, of course. So one thing I touched on earlier was using my phone. And I don't know about you guys, but if I'm out somewhere like this with a beautiful view, I've got my phone out, I'm taking pictures, um, but I'm also checking my notifications, posting things to Twitter and Instagram, keeping all my followers updated. And nowadays, I think we use our phones as much outdoors as we do indoors. And that's why my adaptive sun lenses also have smart life technology. It makes the refocusing between close up and far a lot quicker. So I can effortlessly glance at my phone, look around at the surroundings and literally my vision is perfect it's amazing smart life lenses also give you fantastic peripheral vision so when you've got a panoramic view like this you can see it in all its glory i can't recommend smart life lenses enough i have them in my clear glasses as well but i definitely wanted them in my sunglasses because when you've got adaptive sun lenses i wear these pretty much just as much as i wear my glasses in conclusion I hope my enthusiasm for adaptive sun lenses has come through on this video. I'm sure it has. I really can't see any negative to wearing these. They are by far the best sunglass lenses I've ever tried, available in all kinds of prescriptions. Even if you don't wear prescription sunglasses, you can still have a pair of these made. Be pretty expensive compared to an off-the-shelf pair, but I think worth it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you've got any questions about adaptive sun lenses, leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe to our channel because it really helps us grow. And take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.